everybody, my name is Josephine Gibbs. This is another one of attempt um, showing you how to revamp and how to supercharge a tired old resume and to make it a little bit better and give you a chance for uh, to get through because it's dog at dog out there to find a job and this will hopefully if this would help one person it's worth recording this video. So I have here an example of a resume that looks a little bit bare. So I think it's a good idea to make some changes in this one. Um, this is what this actually looks like. So I'll just give you a finished resume. So this is the finished one that I have completed. So you see that the difference between that to that is quite glaring. So this one is slightly a little bit lopsided. So if you can just make that in the middle. It just straight away it just sort of like makes it so much better and uh, at the moment this is kind of like the objective here it doesn't really say what kind of things as it does say sales professional but it's not very um, it doesn't have much of an impact so I'm gonna put what I put in from the internet there's comments so many things that actually you know gives you an edge by um, taking some incredibly good uh, descriptions online so yes Jay is quite is quite friendly so you know you can just change that and make it so as a friendly I don't want to leave uh, copy and paste from the internet and then leaving it unchanged um, So I think this one here is quite good and we'll just reduce that size now that you've read it so that's not going to stick out and take too much room so at the moment now it's actually amazing um, yeah so and this part here we can actually make some changes so that we just get rid of that now um, and we're going to insert a table because I think a table is really beautiful in terms of getting these things. So we just put that here. This one here is quite good. So we insert that in the table, so it just gives that a little bit more strength in terms of, I mean, not padding exactly because we don't want it to look too paddy, you know, as you say, for the sake of good padding on it. You don't want to do that so you just want to give a bit of weight into those um, so just get a little bit more distributing that, those skills because I think they're great and it just makes it so much more punctuating that so basically that should be uh, so much more to showcase that yeah so it's just a lot easier okay so and then here would be the employment history and the problem with this is that the um, tasks and duties and responsibilities are just not defined so I guess that that's not enough I know that's a very basic thing so what I will do is actually I'm going to show what are the things of a retail sales manager actually has what kind of job description and the duties that they do have and if you just go have a look at uh, retail sales manager job description so you need to go and search what kind of sales description actually a retail sales manager might have so that you really need to show off what this person can do you know what you can do in your own resume so you need to really give that a little bit more gravitas on your resume and if you don't do that you're going to get give you know put yourself at a disadvantage over other people's if they have made an effort in trying to find out and do it this way um, if possible we just need to get rid of that um, so the difference between the two is just so glaring and you've got that instead of being lopsided you actually have a better look to your work okay so let's have a look um, 
group retail manager so we gotta organize stores I need so much heaps and heaps and heaps better actually gonna find out the you know what this uh, a bar manager would be what, what kind of duties and descriptions would be of a bar manager job descriptions and so much more okay so i'm just gonna put that there now how do you get rid of the background so i saw the background you just click here and get rid of that and it takes away that annoying background from the internet so it really does sort of so that was the fill i get rid of the fill and change this dot point style and just uh, so it would align there So that's 10 years of being in a bar. That's beautiful. So that's just how much better it looks now. It's just astonishing that you can do with a very, very old style resume. So this person, Jay, hasn't really been out of work. So continuously been at work. It's just that recently because of the way that hospitality industry has been complete taken a bit beating because of um, nasty virus it is now the same as that so it's actually the new one that I made is better because it's only one page and even Marisa Meyer's resume is one page so you know why should you have a Three page resume when even Marisa Meyer hardly have one page resume. Okay, that's pretty neat. So that's what you should do. Uh, you can play this video as often as you can or as many times you can just so you know what I'm doing. And it's really not that hard, you know, to not hard to improve a title of resume and fix it so that it actually gives you this and now at the moment it's all hodgepodge different uh, font and we're just going to make it all calibri so it gives a sort of uniformity to it um, okay so i'm just getting rid of these annoying things which i don't really really like just a dictionary So you add it to the dictionary, right click so that to get rid of those things and just gives you that nice neat looking uh, arrangement to your resume and here it goes. So I hope you have um, gathered uh, some tips on how to make your resumes very substantial so you got very neat looking, it's easy to read, everything's there and thank you so much, please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel. Thank you.